Hi crafters, it's Karen and I have a project to share. I completed my first tag using the new Prima Doll Mermaid stamp. I just love this stamp. So much fun to play with. Um, and she's such a good size. So I created a tag using her. I just couldn't wait. So this is my tag. And I thought she came out really cute. So I used one of the Ranger uh, large manila tags for the for the base. The background sheet looks like this and it's from that me and my big ideas uh, paper stack that I had shared in one of my previous videos where the it seems to have a mixed media feel. But anyway I went with this one because of the the colors and the texture look to it in the background there. So I did that and then I used these chalk inks by Colorbox, the mixed media inks. And I really like these inks, except, you know, the, stop, the tops don't stay on at all. So, I, you know, I don't know how I'm going to store these. Um, I'm, I've had them for a while, but I just now, you know, opened them up. Anyway, these are the colors that I used. Uh, this is a moss green, and this is a, a patina color. So I used these two color colors to ink around the edges of the of the stamp or tag and then I used um, my different Lindy's and Tattered Angels sprays to bring the tag some color I used the bell bottom jeans color a little bit of that I mostly used for my Lindy stamp gang the ocean breeze blue and the opal sea oats these two colors, really sweet, and then I did use some of the sand color to um, create the, the colors within that background. Then I used my Crafters Workshop stencil, the mini tile texture stencil, this one, to create um, the look in there, the tiny little squares in the background there, and then I used um, my rings and puddles stencil from memory box and for this one I mixed some of the this dimensions by shimmers I mixed some of this with my molding paste so that um, you know the ringlets would come out in this pretty blue color <clears throat> and um, let's see what else I also this here and this I'm gonna open the blinds a little bit more, sorry. It's a very um, overcast day. Anyway, the this shimmer here and here, this is some of the distressed um, glitter that I had gotten from Scrapbook Pal. I didn't bring it out with me, but it's that really pretty blue china, uh, broken china color, and it has a beautiful shimmer. So in different areas I did that. And then I kept, you know, working it till I got the texture I wanted. And then if you could see in the background, I did use this stencil and I um except I used it the opposite way, you know, this this way. <laughs> um I used this stencil with some of the um Tim Holtz Distress inks in the scattered straw and some of the more yellow brighter colors if you could see that the sunbeams coming behind her a little bit um, I'll show you some of this texture up close I just thought it came out really cute I thought I thought that um, you know it definitely had an underwater feel I paper pieced her using the Tim Coffee um, I believe it's called Traveler Stack. It's the one with all the beautiful beach papers. Um, so I paper, that's how I paper pieced her. Um, I colored her hair with my Tim Holtz Distress Markers. <clears throat> so that's how I got that textured background. I also used some um, basic gray rub-ons, if you could see here, even along um, the mermaid. And on the side, you know, just random stitches all along. I thought that was a cool effect. 
and I, I definitely I wanted to give the appearance that the bubbles were definitely floating upward which is why I used that mini tile texture um, this particular um, stencil I thought it gave a, an illusion that the bubbles were actually rising so for the bottom for the sea bottom because she's under the water I took some cheesecloth and I used um, some of the sea opal, sea opal oats, um, opal sea oats from Lindy's Stamp Gang, and some of the sand from the Tattered Angels, and colored that up. And then, um, if you could see behind, there's like a glitter shimmer behind there. That's I took some of that silver mesh ribbon. I don't, I didn't bring any with me, but um, it's only about you know half an inch wide and I just adhered it to the bottom so that you know a little bit of shimmer would would show through that cheesecloth just to give you know a little bit a little bit of light down there so I don't know if you could see it I can see it but anyway that's what I did and then I adhered my cheesecloth after I dried it using my heat tool um, this piece is one of the Prima resin shells that Steph, Brown Baby Craftaholic, had given me. She gave me this set here, a couple of these, and I really appreciate it, Steph. It was so much fun playing with this particular shell and spraying it with my different sprays to get it to look like this one, which is an actual real seashell. So I thought I was able to match the colors pretty well there. Um, I added a little I Am Roses over there. I know there's no roses in the bottom of the ocean, but I had to add a flower. <laughs> and then, um, then for this embellishment in this one, and also the jellyfish here, those come from this pack that matched the um, Tim Coffee uh, papers by Kane Company. They all have a nice shimmer to them, really sweet. So I used those the little crab and the little um, sea dollar and the jellyfish and there's some more random um, uh, rub-ons down here on the mermaid's tail I raised her on, on pop dots obviously so she's sitting you know above the above the tag so uh, that's basically how I created her and then I used some of the creepy cloth that I had left over from a previous project and I just layered it here um, I knew her fin was go going to be here but just to, to add another little texture um, from the bottom of the ocean and then for my um, the seam binding that I added I just added seam binding like this to make it look like seaweed and to m mimic the little you know, um, what do you call those, tentacles from the jellyfish. But anyway, I, I, I sprayed these with the different Lindy uh, Stamp Gang. And um, they all came out sweet, and I crinkled them myself. And then I used this little uh, fiber piece to tie it all off. Um, I tied a bow, but you can't really tell. <laughs> so... So that's my first mermaid tag. You know I'm going to be working on some more of these because it's just so much fun um, playing with these dolls. And um, I'm especially having a good time with this one. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.